began to turn his heart towards Jesus. He opened up heavens and the rain began to come. So even the animals in the bush, they began to find food to eat because the grass began to grow. Whatever has shut your heavens, whatever has shut heavens against you, today the Lord is saying a lot of angels into your life to bless heaven of you. May the Lord bless heaven of you into your life. May the Lord bless heaven of you into the church. May heaven be blessed in you.
Yes. Are you there? Yes. I want to read verse. You see, the trees are bearing their fruits. See, oh, trees have begun to bear fruits. Why is in the past the trees were dry? Because heaven was shut. And the heaven was shut. Are you there? Yes. For the way press. For the big tree and the fire, they are riches. Be glad, people of sight. People of wealth, evangelism, be glad. God says what? Be glad. Are you there? Yes. God says what? Be glad. And rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given you the utter rains because he is faithful. He sends you abundant showers, both autumn and spring rains before. The trusty floor will be filled with grain, and your vats will overflow with new wine. God is about to bless us again. Your financial situation is about to change. You will see a change today. You are seeing a change today. You are seeing a change today. Financial change is coming to your life. There shall be no resistance anymore. No power can resist your blessing anymore. No demon can resist your blessing anymore. Your financial matters are changing. God is changing it himself. He is changing it right now. People in this country are no more living on their salary. Because before the salary comes, it is already finished. But those who trust in the Lord, I would say they are like a mansion. Whether the salary finishes or not, they are going to provide what you tell. The Lord will take care of them. Your going and coming is being taken care of. People will come to the world. There is something that is important. The amount of water you drink. God has provided it already. Yeah. The amount of food you have to consume, God has created it already. Yes. The room and the house you have to build, God has provided for it already. Yes. That is why the Bible is saying that uh, do not be worried at all. Yes. We need to rejoice yes. because something good is coming to happen yes. to you. A good news is coming to you. It will never change. It will never delay. Yes. Because it is the word of God. Next 
fire. And attack the fire. And it is made. They will eat everything. Then they will move in that same group. To another fire. The Bible says. God has been sending them. There is an angel in charge of them. Who causes that work. And bring punishment to the children of God. So that they will be hungry. And think about their life. And turn their heart back to him. The Bible says that. When that thing happens. It brings poverty into their lives. It brings hunger to their life. It brings suffering to their life. But when they cry to God. And this is what God said. It is that every time you plant. And no one come to eat it. He's going to repay you for it. Now, you are not able to improve upon yourself. You are not developing. You are not buying new shoes. You are not buying new clothes. You are not building your house. You are not buying land. You are not buying new things. It is like from hand to mouth. And you can see that you are going down. And this is what God is saying. Because heavens are open to your life. The number of years that things have come. It shall surprise your 
yourself. The woman you have suppressed to yourself.